Hello everyone, welcome to my first movie review on this channel. I'm glad I managed to capture your interest. Today we'll be talking about Savage Nights or Les Nuits Far. It is a 1992 French film directed by and starring Cyril Collard. It is a semi-autobiographical film portraying Collard as Jean. Jean is a bisexual man living with HIV positive. Jean's disease is a backdrop to the reality of 1980s France. Uh, the film is set in an urban view of Paris. Uh, I think the camera work is very... It can display, you know, the shady, cold, gritty atmosphere of, like, Paris and what, like, people don't see about Paris and what Jean and uh, the other characters experience. Another thing, I think that really affected me a lot because uh, when I, went, I saw the film by myself in BFI South Bank as part of French realism season, uh, I tried to find a DVD copy, but there wasn't any offering English subtitles, only French and Italian. There was one, but it was in VHS, and no one has a VHS player nowadays. Come on, man. So, but then again, yeah, towards the end of the film, I was feeling like uneasy in my stomach and I was like, I didn't feel good going home. Not because the film was bad, but it was, it's very real and authentic and it's, it proves that, you know, life is hard, you know. And so the themes were like so gritty and unclean that it just impacted me throughout. Like I was thinking about it for the next week and I was like, oh damn, that's so sad. Anyway, back to the two characters. Uh, there's two young characters. I think the girl is 17 and the boy is like, he's, I think, 19, 20, 21. Called Laura and Sammy. They're both like young adults, living in young adults uh, slash kid. The girl turns 18 in the film. That's not a spoiler, by the way. It's, yeah. Uh, so, but then again, these two young kids, they know the bad stuff about Paris. They know... Oh, there's crackheads, there's bad people. And even the girl, I'm not going to spoil it, but she's been through a lot, you know. And same with the boy. And just thinking about it, it relates to me because I lived in London. I'm 18 at the moment. I've seen, you know, crackheads, gang members, violence happened and all of this. It's not really pleasant, you know, but it's life. What, what, you can, what can you do living in a city? So, you know, despite their young age, they're quite, you know, they know what's going on. Uh, and these three people, they live in a triangle where they're all affected. Like, they know... How can I say? Collard, he works as a film director. And he casts Laura and Sammy. So they start a friendship. But they don't know that Jean is bisexual. And Cyril Collard said in an interview after the film's release that if if the character, you know, if the authorities knew what he was doing, he would be charged for murder. Even though, no, no spoiler, he doesn't kill them, yeah? I'm not spoiling the film. I'm not like that. Uh, but after watching the film, you can see what he does to these two characters and how they fall in. And there's a line in the film when Sammy, I think he's walking with Collard, Sammy says to him, you ruined my life. And then Collard says, uh, Jean, uh, my bad, Jean, the character, Jean says, "I, you didn't need me to ruin your life. And that really resonates with me. Like, you have to change what's in you yourself if you want a happy life. And the relationship... Collard has um, Jean has with Laura is even more like significant like I can see why Boringer she got the most promising actress award at the Caesar Awards 1993 like damn man she, like sometimes like it was it's very you don't you were like oh I don't want to watch that like and she was like 19 years old when she acted like that I'm like raw that's it's so authentic it's a very authentic film uh also back to the hiv uh the hiv is a backdrop to the film as a way as oh that changes his outlook as because as the film goes on 
Jean is like, oh, HIV, whatever, man. It's, I'll get it. I'll get cured or something. But, but as the film goes on, he realizes, oh no, this is a real thing. I'm, I don't have much long, a long time left on Earth. And that's when he starts to lose control, much like Taxi Driver, much like Joker. As the film progresses, he develops into this new person where he just doesn't care about anybody around him or anything. It's like, oh, I, I want this, I'm gonna get it. I don't care who I harm, who I touch, who I offend. If I want it, I'm gonna get it. So his character is really impactful in it. And it's a shame that Collard did die of AIDS three days before the Caesar Awards where the film was presented, I think. I'm not sure was it presented there or earlier, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's a, it was made in 1992, Evan. It came to the UK in 1993. The only negatives I have of this film is uh, Collard used his own soundtrack. I'm not a really big fan of his songs. They're like a bit plain in my opinion. However, the actions you see on screen, like they compensate for that. However, his performance is like one of the most draining I've ever seen. All three of them, uh, Jean, Laura and Sami, they, they're very draining. Like when you watch them, you get you get exhausted about what crazy stuff they do in their life, man. This is why I'm like, I'm thinking, oh crap, was 1980s Paris this bad? Uh, by the way, if anyone uh, who's lived in 1980s Paris I actually can relate to that, please tell me your stories in the comments, I would love to know. Overall, I'd give this film 9 out of 10, because it's very authentic. It, it was part of French realism for a reason, it was, it's one of the most truest stories I have of, you know, impending doom. The guy knows he's going to die, so... He doesn't give a damn anymore. And the characters are like so real. Like you, those characters could exist in real life. And you would think this would be a documentary. Be ser I'm being serious. It's very good. And Boringa, she deserved bro. I don't. Uh, apparently France submitted this for the Academy Award. And it didn't get submitted. So what the hell Academy. This one was dope man. Literally one of the best I've ever seen. But it is quite hard to watch. I'm, 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 I'm being real. You need to have a good stomach to watch this film. Uh, also, to find a copy is quite difficult. Luckily, I live in London where it was showing this as part of the season. However, if you do know French, you can watch the film, obviously, through a DVD. Also, if you have the VHS tape... Here's what I think they did. They, when I watched the MBFI South Bank, uh, it started to... Uh, Sorry about that, I got a message. Anyway, so when I was watching it at BFI South Bank, it started to flicker. Like, it was flickering on screen, and some of the cuts went... <laughs> like, the cuts just went too fast. However, so yeah, I, uh, the editing, I don't know if that's because of the uh, editing, or like the com like when they converted it to, Eng to add the subtitles, I have no clue, but yeah, it was quite... It wasn't the best copy, but when I went on YouTube, if you find the one from the French and Italian version of the DVD, like that is a, that'll show you good picture. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I recommend it. Nine out of 10, I would give it. So if you can find a copy, watch it. And, but as far as I know, this is the only review on YouTube apart from the Roger Ebert one. So I'm glad to be like one of the first people to review this film. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I appreciate it. Uh, I'm planning to do more film reviews because film is my passion. Uh, so thank you so much. I'm glad you witnessed and take care. Goodbye.